This immersive sonic creation has been designed for Chaumet Le Drew brand in collaboration with Paris-based design firm Manifesto, Tokyo-based creative studio La Bois, and Japan-based sound artist Miyu Hosoi. The project was designed for a VIP exhibition held in the Chaumet Hotel, located in the center of the iconic Place Vendôme, the epicenter of Parisian luxury. Amadeus teams collaborated with Miu Hosoi and assisted her during the creative process to mix, reverberate, and spatialize sonic materials with holophonics. We'll show you the main steps of the creative process, from the layout design to the sound spatialization with Max software, including the creation of the holophonics project, the synchronization with a DAW, and many other techniques the installation was located in a long corridor featuring a piece of jewelry with speakers integrated into walls and the ceiling on three layers. You need first to import a 3D model of the space you're working in. This file has to be converted in .glb format to be compatible with Holophonics. Please refer to the related tutorial if you need any assistance on that side. Scale your 3D model and reposition it if needed before creating speakers in the 3D venue. Define the right reference point in your holophonics project. You can then create speakers and place these carefully into the 3D venue. They have to be routed to the physical outputs of your audio device. Here, we've been using the Dante Virtual Sound Card from Audinate, which offers a maximum of 64 I.O. Create the buses that best suit your speaker setup and or your creative needs. You can tune and adapt the bus parameters later on site. To find the speakers that you want to use in that bus. You are now ready to create virtual sources. You can add virtual sources from the venue view with a right click or from the add menu. Finally, you can route audio inputs to your virtual sources and assign the sources to one spatialization bus or more. Holophonics allows you to combine multiple algorithms simultaneously. Each algorithm can thus be chosen according to its relevance, considering the associated electroacoustic setup, the audio content, or the artistic choices. In this project, we have used a KNN bus. KNN selects the loudspeakers closest to the source position and applies level differences between them. The user chooses the factor K, which defines quantity of loudspeakers used to spatialize each source. The gain differences are calculated based on the distance between the source and the selected loudspeakers. KNN allows a very flexible spatialization, as the loudspeakers can have any layout you can tune and optimize your bus settings according to your needs. With KNN, you will first need to adjust the K parameter. That will set the quantity of loudspeakers used to spatialize each source. When working with movements in KNN, you also need to adjust the max distance and distance exponent setting. Combined together, these parameters allow you to create smooth movements Refer to the online Holophonics documentation to learn more about these settings. We have collaborated with Japan-based sound artist Miyu Hosoi, well known for her sound installations using multi-channel sound systems, as well as outdoor installations performing arts productions and works featuring multiple recordings of her own voice. She mainly works on Pro Tools and Reaper. We decided to work with Reaper for this project. To send the audio channels from your DAW to Holophonics, you need to install Holophonics Virtual Sound Card, a virtual audio driver that allows applications to pass audio to other applications with zero additional latency. 
route all the tracks from your DAW to the corresponding outputs of the Holophonics virtual sound card. We had to spatialize dozens of voice recordings based on bird flight patterns. The creative need was to have voices swirling and whirling around the space as a swarm of voices. Some mathematical models have been developed to emulate the flocking behaviors. We used the Boyd's library for Max Software, which is an artificial life program that produces startlingly realistic simulations of flocking behavior. Just like in nature, no Boyd, or bird, has global knowledge of every other Boyd in the flock. Instead, each can only see Boyds that are within its visual range and that are within its smaller protected range. Check out your OSC connection from Macs to Holophonics. If Macs and Holophonics are both installed on the same computer, the IP address would be 127.0.0.1 and the input port is 4003. After having tested the OSC connection between Macs and Holophonics, you can create different loops as well as spatial movements and edit various patch parameters. To identify the OSC messages needed to control a holophonics parameter, simply put your mouse cursor over the desired parameter. In the bottom left corner, you will see displayed the full OSC address of the parameter. Here, we want to control the position of the virtual sources. In holophonics, use the following syntax, slash track, slash index, slash XYZ, followed by the three coordinates or you can control each coordinate individually with slash track slash index slash x slash track slash index slash y and slash track slash index slash z. The sonic creation was presented over a two-week period at the Chaumet Hotel. There was no need to run real-time from Holophonics so all the spatialized tracks were recorded and then played using show control software. To record your spatialized mix, you can use another computer with a DAW. You record as many tracks as loudspeakers you have on site. The average time spent experiencing the event per listener was about three minutes. We decided to record a six minute piece played with QLab as an infinite loop, scheduled daily to start at 8 a.m and end at 9 p.m. In QLab, create a new workspace to be used as your player. To play all your audio files simultaneously, you need to create a timeline group. In the Queues window, create a group. In the Mode window of your group, select Timeline. Start all children simultaneously. You can now import or drag and drop your audio files in the QLab project. Put these in your group. In the Time and Loops window, select Infinite Loop and repeat this action for each audio file. In the Audio Level window, select the right audio driver in Audio Output Patch. The proper output patch will appear. Select the suitable output for each audio file according to your physical patching. Set the unused outputs to infinite and just leave the right one at zero. In the Cues window, add a fade after your group. Select the group as well as the fade. In the Audio Levels window of your fade, select Stop Target when done. Your fade window will be renamed as Fade and Stop. Now, when your fade is activated, it will stop automatically when your group is being played. If you want to put starting and ending hours in your project, go to the Triggers window of the group. Then select Wall Clock Trigger and fill in the starting time. In the Triggers window of the fade, select Wall Clock Trigger and enter the ending time. You can also put different hours for each day, but you will have to create a group and a fade for each day. You can now save your project as a bundle workspace. It will create a file with your QLab project including all the audio files.